when you are trying to right a wrong and you're trying to really protect something, it's going to do no good if it's just one person standing there. Um, you know? So the more numbers that are there, even if they're there for their own reasons, the more chance they have of protecting what they feel is really important for them because it's just not right, you know, it's just not right. And if more, if more of us stood up and said this isn't right for the various things that insult our soul on a daily basis, they might think twice about doing things that would insult our souls. Right now we give, we give them free reign to do these things. Like, because no one, we've been like submitted, submissive, we've been, we've got the fluoride in our bodies, we're very susceptible to just what the media tell us and um, we've been conformed from, you know, the education system to obey authorities and that was fine when the authorities were doing the right thing but once they realise that they can sort of get away with anything, no one's going to question them about anything, then they just keep going over pushing the boundaries of everything in the name of money and I think you know this standing rock thing is is like more than just about protecting the water it's more about like you know what stop doing that which destroys and disturbs our souls you know and our land and the you know stop doing the wrong thing that that you know is the wrong thing in the name of money just because you think no one's going to stand up to you and I feel like I don't know I feel like that Standing Rock just has this possibility so many possibilities you know that movie the ants you know if one if one stands up to us you know it's just one little ant and they have to go back and um, make an example out of that ant because if they all stood up to us we they'd be unable to control uh, the ants so. how about this You let one ant stand up to us, then they all might stand up. Those puny little ants outnumber us a hundred to one. And if they ever figure that out, there goes our way of life. It's not about food. It's about keeping those ants in line. It is so much like that with the... Is that if we all knew, you know, like, because we've been separated and we've been made into little me's, little soldiers, little conformists. So we don't stand together about anything because like, even my, my parents, mum and dad especially, he would be like, oh no, 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 don't, don't rock the boat. Just, you know, don't, don't do rock the boat. And it's like, well, but that's wrong, you know? Um, so we've got these generations of people who have been told because they, they grew up maybe with authorities that were good. So you wouldn't, but now that they're not good and these corporations are like using, you know, basically bribing in a way that, like, why is the army and the police on the wrong side of the fence in, in this case? They should be protecting the protectors, the people, and instead they're standing behind the corporations with guns and, um, I don't know if they're loaded guns, but they've got guns and they're using water to water bomb them. Um, they're macing them. They've got tanks. They've got humbies. And these are like little peaceful people with, apart from big voices, they don't have weapons or anything. Like why? They're not like threatening in that way. And so it's sort of like imbalanced now because it's like, if you've got money, you can buy an army. If you've got money, you can buy an army and that army will stand on the wrong side of the fence, on the wrong side of their own soul for that paycheck. You know, I might not be anywhere near Standing Rock, but what they are doing I'm really admiring and I'm I'm really feeling like it's it started that catalyst, that ripple effect, that change that might happen. Not even if they don't win, but that community spirit that they've got went by, you know, coming together and, and actually standing up for what is right. It's like, what are you doing 
don't do this. Don't you know what you're doing for yourself and for future generations, for us? I admire the movement of coming together and joining forces. They're using prayer. They're using energy, intent. I said, you know, in Toronto where I live, sometimes there have been sketchy times at night and I've called on police and I've always been met with kindness and help there you're there to help and I'm looking at them and I'm saying I am so scared right now like for my life and I want to run to you and you're standing across from me and I can't I don't understand what's going on why is this happening like it's not okay you are the guys who are supposed to protect us and me and I'm scared what am I supposed to do why are you here and I looked at them and I said you know I forgive you guys for being here right now I said because you have bosses that are making some decisions that are very bad and very dangerous and those bosses decisions put you right across from me the person you're supposed to protect what are you doing here you know and I said you know my sister my older sisters from Hennepin County you know she's gonna see this how does she you know rectify that her her state troopers are out here standing across from her little sister who's a medic and I looked at them and I said just so you know if bad shit goes down and you're bleeding out I looked at the guy who was looking at me you're bleeding out my eyes are going to be the eyes you see. I'm going to be trying to save you because it doesn't matter who's out here who's hurt. I'm a human being. I came here as a human being. What did you come here as? Are you human or have you lost your mind? And I said, you know those elders in that tent that you say get out of there before you drive over them? They're praying for you. Do you understand that this nation prays for you first because you are the ones that need help because your heart is not balanced these people are praying for you I am praying for you I said sometimes in life there comes a point where you just have to say hell no I'm not doing this because you need to rectify it with you within yourself what are you doing you know but yeah, it was pretty good to watch all that stuff last night and get caught up on what's going on and what's been said by presidents and what's been promised by corporations that even the army, you know, words come out of their mouth, but where are they going to go with it? And it does make you think about, I've been saying this for years and I we can't keep doing these things that are against our soul, even working in places that are against our alignment to our soul. This, things are changing now. All right, stop rambling.